Hey guys, it's J19 brought to you in our video, and today we're gonna look at the uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer. I'm gonna do a little breakdown of it and give a little theory. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it short. I don't want to make it too long. And uh, with that said, we're we're gonna watch it first time with the subtitles. I'll probably pause it in between and give my thoughts on what's going on. Here we go. What we've done, that's set in stone. The past is forever. All right. What she's talking about there, that's Aerith. Okay, that's Aerith talking. And what she's telling the party is, what happened in the past is set in stone. It's forever changed. And a lot of people think that, like, original game and stuff like that, like, you can't change that kind of past. What I think what she's referring to is what they done in Remake. You know, they stopped the spoiler alert, uh, alert. If you guys are watching uh, watching this trailer, then you're spoiled beyond belief. Um, what's going on in Remake is they fought against the Whispers. They fought against Fate. They changed Destiny. And Aerith told her, it's like, told everybody, it's like, um, you know, it's freedom, but like, really like, scary freedom type fail. It's like, terrifying freedom. It's like, yeah, we, we're going to be free from all this. We don't only change, our, we change the outcome, we're actually going to change ourselves. So what she's talking about is, what we change, what does that happen, guys? Zack is alive, right? Zack is brought, you know, not brought back to life, but he survives against the soldiers. Let's continue. But the future, even if it has been written, can, can be, be changed. changed. Again, but the future, even if it has been changed, written, can be changed. So, even if the future has been written in the past, or like by the planet, it can be changed now. Because what they've done in Remake is they defy destiny. And so, this white feather that people are seeing, and say, how come it's not black? The only, the only one that has a white feather, a white wing... Is Angel. So I wonder if they're teasing Angel. Maybe he's going to appear in this game somehow. Interesting. Let's keep going. So focus on the future, not the past. So she said, focus on the future, not the past. Because you can't worry about what we've done. What's done is done. Like Cloud did said in Remake. Again, another nod. What's done is done. You can't change it. Another nod. And we saw a glimpse of Zach here in Cloud. And we see a glimpse of. Meteor, right? What would become of the planet? We don't know yet. Finish what he started. Now this is interesting. Cloud and Sephiroth, everybody goes, Whoa, wait a minute, is this new? Is this something? No, this is this is the flashback. Cloud's gonna try to explain some things, like how he knows Sephiroth, like why why is like Cloud so intent and you know why does Cloud have hatred for him? Like, when he wants to stop him for it, even though Aerith told him why they're going to need to stop Sephiroth. He's, he's bad. He's trying to, you know, he's trying, he's up to no good. Um, before we move on, let's look at this picture. This is an amazing shot of Mount Nibel. They are on their way to the reactor. Because what's these jagged, these jagged things in the background here? That is Mount Nibel. If you look at the original picture, which... If you look at it or go back and play that segment, it's really jagged mountain. I love the scenery, but let's look again. What we see at the very top, 1,069 meters. We have never had, we had a section in part one where it was pretty lengthy. I think it was in chapter five. We had to go about 1,000 meters. So imagine running through the railroad station like that. But this is going through Mount Nibble, going to your reactor. So they're... Almost 1,100 meters away from the reactor. This is a massive area. And I love the setting. This is definitely PS5 ecstatic. Let's continue. He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet with Jan Okay. Again, this is confirmation of Sephiroth's goal. He wants to defy destiny. That way he can win this time. What does he want to do? Reclaim his birthright, right? He's, he's a, you know... He thinks he's a Cetra, he's an ancient, he he thinks that this planet is his, it's his vessel. And he wants to rule over the planet with Genova at his side, which he, th he calls her mother. Genova at his side. Of course we saw, we'll go back real quick, we saw this. 
and Sephiroth eyes. Back one quick sec. Sephiroth eyes, so he's so what's his end game? We don't really, we know now. I saw you lying there. Again, I can't really tell. This is really blurry, but yeah, they're getting closer. This they only move like almost a hundred meters. So it's a hundred meters from that bridge. Just before the bridge again up to this thing. This is awesome. I figured it was too late. Figured it was too late. Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Now this is interesting. Before we look at this beautiful shot of Mount Nibbo and the and the lighting and stuff. Like, Cloud saw her lying there, and he thought it was, like, too late. Like, he thought that she was dead. Everybody's referring to, wait, 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 wait. It's like, you know, people are thinking that stuff's changing here. I don't think so. I think Cloud is telling the flashback. He's telling everybody, telling her, it's like, she's probably asking him, how badly was I wounded? And he's like, well, I seen you laying there. I thought it was too late. And she's like, wait, you're, what are you applying? That I died? That's, I'm some kind of imposter? And what it is, Tifa's just asking questions. Um, this is not a change. She just think, what am I, an imposter? Like, she's trying to figure things out because, because they know that they changed things. So she's wondering, wait a minute, am I really myself? Like, I thought I died, you know? Of course they saw... Of course, this is from uh, Advent Children again. What is faith, fact and fiction? This again. This is this is really unique. Pay attention because what they what did Tifa talk about? Am I a posture? How am I even alive? And it shows like Aerith dying. It shows like the material falling. What is fact and what is fiction? Now this is the juicy part. You were here with me five years ago. Now, everybody thinks that, wait a minute, he's talking to, five years ago, he's talking to Tifa, but no. Uh, translation from the Japanese trailer, and what I've been gathering, he's actually talking to Zack. So, this is unique. Because I know I, I want to talk about Tifa, which the, the theory is, Tifa's just, she's trying to figure out what's going on what what like what changed because she thinks that she died as i said but let's talk about this scene cloud's talking about hey i, I was there with i i remember you being there five years ago he's talking about zach so cloud automatically is starting to remember zach that's different cloud is getting his memories back early and that's huge again we see the angel feathers where are you what happened to you He's asking, where are you? What happened to you? He's remembering Zack. He's, he said, wait a minute. Where are you? What happened to you? I, I want to know what's going on. I'm trying so hard to find you. Trying so hard to find you. So, what if the party has a... Either that or the party has a... Somehow found a way to co communicate with Zack on the other side. And she's like, I'm trying to find you. Sorry. Feel like I failed you. He says, Sorry, I feel like I failed you. Maybe Zach promised Aerith. I can't wait to play uh, Crisis Core, but this is my theory. Uh, without me playing Crisis Core and understanding lore, I think either A, he failed to become her hero. Like, he says, I'm going to be, be a hero. And I'm not about here to become first soldier. I want to be a hero. Um, and he thinks he's failed. Either that, or he's talking about something happens in, in the second game that he goes, sorry, I feel like I failed you. Like, he didn't live up to her expectations. And, as you guys can tell before we get to Awesome Logo, again, look at that beautiful shot. And yes, this is in-game. This is not CGI. This is in-game. Because... None of this stuff right here looks uh, CG, uh, CGI to me. This is this is nuts. This is the power of the PS5. I can't wait to see what it's, what it's going to look like in the final product. And, as you guys can tell, that's the uh, wall of the Shinra. Uh, not Shinra, but Midgar. They are almost inside the walls of Midgar. Zack is alive. Cloud survives. Yeah, stuff is changing. 
Of course, we get the logo. Rebirth. Again. Awesome title. Um, we're starting to see what? It ain't just the lettering's turning red. Even Meteor's turning red. And there's a lot of speculations and stuff going around that the red indicates Genesis. I think... I don't think it is Genesis. By just looking at this and looking at the words, like how it's starting to turn, like... Well, not really Final Fantasy at 7 itself, but Rebirth is not all the way covered. And it's a little bit red on the bottom of the Meteor. I think this just tells you that something's bad is start. It's going to start to happen. And, uh... Again, the second game is really, uh, it's going to be meat, the meat and potatoes up between the three games. As always, uh, confirmation uh, from my stream, I watched, I reacted to it. Uh, yeah, it is confirmed. It's going to be a trilogy, and uh, they confirmed that, so it's going to be awesome. And they said this is going to be the meat and potatoes, like the se like a second movie in the series and film, it also provides that there's going to be a lot of story twists and turns as it, they're talking about this is going to be like one of those this is going to be the second game of the series that everybody's not know the most because all the second twisted turns of the story and i'm excited so rebirth is awesome i think it's just it's a rebirth of the timeline i think it's a rebirth of the of the story now anything goes because they defy destiny. And now we need to know. Okay. What's Sephiroth's plan? Well we know. He wants to become. Birth white. He wants to have ownership of the planet. Rule over the planet with Genova at his side. His mother. So that's freaking awesome. As always. Here we go. One final thing. We got the PlayStation 5. So here we go folks. I told you guys. Ever since 2019. Back before I started making videos and having a YouTube channel, I told people over and over again, I even made that video a while back, that Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two is not coming to PlayStation 4, and this proves it. It's a PS5 game, Sony's bought exclusive rights to it again, and next winter. We are possibly getting Final Fantasy XVI somewhere around the summertime, between June and September, and we're getting Final Fantasy VII Rebirth between December 20th all the way until March 20th. This is exciting, guys. I cannot wait. And the way it's looking, they're going to both have Final Fantasy XVI, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and I think that's also the same year we're supposed to get a new expansion for Final Fantasy XIV. So Square's going to be eating good. They're, they're going to be eating good for the physical year, and I'm excited. But yeah, that's what we got so far. Um, I saw I saw it caught so far. Uh, the visualization looks great. Um, I can go back, but I don't need to. I don't think. What I'm going to say is like the vegetations are actually reacting to the party. Um, like when Sephiroth is walking through the weeds and stuff, like it was interacting with them. That's a nice touch of detail. The visuals, even though that this is a very compressed YouTube video, it, it still looks great. It's it's gonna mind blow us again. And they even said, "Be prepared to have you know uh, have your uh, expectations exceeded again, you know met." So I cannot wait. I'm excited. I want to do this video for you guys. Break it down. Give my thoughts, and I think that Zack is alive. It's pr it's proven right here. The story's gonna change. We're on an unknown journey. It will continue. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I know a lot. There's a lot of people out there are kind of they're just worried about this game. It's not the remake they was promised. It's like, you know, respect. You know, we gotta respect their opinions. Respect their opinions. This is my little piece. Let's respect each other's opinions. Now everybody's going to love this game, now everybody's going to like this game, and now everybody's going to hate this game. So we all have good ideas about this game. And guess what? It's all in our power whether or not to splurge into this, or just say, you know what? It's not for me. You know, I'll play, I'll focus on something else. And this is great. Cannot wait. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this uh, breakdown trailer. Um, if you guys decided about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, since it's not longer called Final Fantasy VII Remake 2 or Part 2. 
Final Fantasy VII Re Rebirth. What do you guys think of the title? What do you guys think of this breakdown? Is there anything that I missed that you guys want to like let me know of? I appreciate it very, very well. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. As always, subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay notified when we go live. Or upload the next video if you're new to this channel. Drop a like if you like this type of content. If you guys want more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth news, trailers, reactions, and streams. So with that said, you guys be safe out there. Be nice to each other. I have links in the description below for my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Feel free to give me a follow on both. Join Discord. We can talk about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And I cannot wait. I'm so excited. We're only like a year and a half away. And I can't not wait. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.